Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Luis and in this video I'm going to transform this mini PC into a network attached storage. Okay, so if you click the thumbnail you already saw that I have several flash drives connected to this PC. So this is a Windows 10 capable machine that I had uh, somewhere kept it was not uh, on active and i thought okay and if i can create a network storage okay so yeah so i look i started searching for software to do it and hook up this usb hub and the operating system will be running from this USB micro SD because this computer still has uh, its internal memory 32 gigabytes with Windows 10 that I will not erase so if I plan to use it with the Windows 10 I just have to remove the, the micro SD card and it will be ready to run again windows okay so i will be reading my flash drives through this usb 3.0 hub you see blue connections okay so the goal was to share some flash drives over my home network and be able to stream videos and music and photos directly to my devices, to, to other computers, to my smartphone, to my smart TV, okay? So this is an ideal mini computer because it's lo low consumption, it doesn't have a, a, a GPU draining a lot of energy from, from the, the socket, okay? Here, if you are interested, so this is an old machine um, capable to run Linux, capable to, to run Windows 10 and as I told you, I will not be raising the internal SSD so I will be using the operating system that I selected it will be running from the USB adapter with the micro SD plugged in okay because as you seen there is also a, a mini SD card reader uh, but I will be using that one also for the NAS okay I will be using a 64 gigabyte micro SD insert that slot and on the USB hub I will be connecting several flash drives and I will be able to read and write files from my computer, from my smartphone, okay? So this will be the, the operating system that I will be using. So it's based on OpenSUSE and it's called Rockstar. It's free, okay? So you can read more about it and I will leave the link in the video description. But uh, just to say that I found this because firstly, I tried to install Open Media Vault, which is another NASH operating system, but uh, it, it, it generated an error. So I look up Google for other solutions and I found Rockstar. And I can tell you that it works really well. So as you can see, I have already three flash drives connected or more I think I have four yeah so one is the operating system remember and then I have the micro SD card with 64 and another pen drive with 8 gigabytes that was for the, the first tests I did and and I have 64 gigabytes on on the other flash drive so the goal would be to put only 64 gigabyte flash drives on these and be able to share across my home network okay so 
as you can see so this is the dashboard you see the the situation with the, all your drives the average CPU usage and yeah so now I will disconnect the rock store or my mini NAS I will remove the flash drives that I already connected to the machine and I will put these these two new ones and I will show you the the overall process okay so I will remove the the one with 8 gigabytes that I will not use anymore and I will put these two working okay so uh, the installation is really easy so you download the image from rock store and then you just need uh, two flash drives one that you will burn the image from rock store with etchable in and another one where do you want to install the system okay uh, in my case I installed in uh, a, a micro SD card but you can install directly on your main disk okay so if you have a computer laying around that you don't use uh, you can transform or you can create a mini a mini NAS like this one okay so this also works with the normal hard disk drives or solid straight drives uh, but my this for me this was just a project just to know to test rock store to see if it's good for me and if I can use it okay if it is reliable so as you can see these are the disks so I am just uh, putting those two new units that I added so I will select here and I will click submit and now we need to go to pool so first we activate the, the flash drives and now we have to create a pool for which one okay so you need to give it a name is up to you be creative something that uh, you can be able to identify when moving or copying files from and then I have two new ones to use so for this one that I'm calling HP 64 I will select the, the one from HP okay and I select submit and now I will create another one for the a data okay also with the 64 so I will call it a data 2 because I already have one so this one will be number 2 and now I have to select the, the disk I click submit and that's it okay so you see there that I have some that are unmounted like I told you I removed the other ones just to make, make sure I was not erasing the ones that I already have some information there so right now I, I only have plugged in those two okay that is why so a lot of red warnings because I don't have uh, the other ones attached to the mini NASH okay here there is an error I didn't get this from the video because it's important so you have to give a different name from the pool okay so if you gave that name to the pool now for the shares you have to to give a different number name a different name okay and as you can see has been accepted now I will do the same for the other one so I will select the HP one give it a different name and it's done okay so remember all those ones with unmounted other ones are removed before putting on these two new ones okay so another quick view to the to the dashboard and then you see all the disks that I have in my machine
and this is the free version okay so if you want there are some rock ons you see on the top uh, there are like kind of plugins add-ons and there are updates that you only get if you pay okay so yeah so I'm deleting I'm trying to delete the um, the, the shares I created for the 8 gig, gigabytes I had when I started this project because I don't need those ones anymore because I, I swapped that uh, flash drive of 8 gigabytes from for, I will be using these ones with uh, 64 okay and then here when you activate the samba server you need to to tell if it is browsable if, if it is guest okay or read only so this where you can select what who who can read and who can write on, on those folders you created okay so i'm just doing the same i made for the other ones and they are working really well and don't forget also to create the, the users so I already created when I started the project I created the, the users so I will have to put the users on on there otherwise I will not be able to to read from those from those shares on my network okay so if you just want to see the sharing across my devices you can move the video for around 20 minutes and you will see then the the network share working okay because right now it's only showing how you can set up your rockstore server what do you need to do so you see on the admin users i created two and you have i have to put also these on the other ones i just created otherwise they will not work you see there on the admin users for the last flash drives i added to the server i forgot to put the, the user so let's let's enter kabora tech and luis submit so if you have a machine laying around and you would like to share some flash drives on your flash drives or hard disk drives on your network this is a really good solution and this one has been working 24 7 on my network and doesn't make any noise i also put a usb fan to to be able to cool the device and it has it's been working really well so I can access my files anytime I want I can move files from my smartphone and be able to retrieve those files from my smart TV or from an Android device I'm talking about the TV box or something like that so for me this is really really good I used to be happy when I was able to share a flash drive from my router now I can share a drives with 64 gigabytes and more than one at once so it's really really good okay so you can have your music library on a flash drive and if you, if you disconnect the, the, the server and you remove the flash drive you will be able to read the files on on a computer okay so you don't you don't lose the files if somehow the server go goes down okay so everything seems to be working okay so now I will need to after checking that everything is working so I was trying to remove the, the flash drive with 8 gigabytes because I don't need it anymore I will remove it permanently from my server but I have to to spend more time trying to figure out how to do it so let's leave it now and and proceed because uh, 
if the flash drive is not there is also no, not a problem it just signals that the, the the disk is not present but it doesn't interfere with the performance of the server so yeah you can swap flash drive so imagine then you have more than four and today you want to share one and tomorrow you want to share another one you just need to log out you swap flash drives and turn on the machine again and you, and you will be able to to share the files you want okay so yeah so let's leave the all the, the settings for the, that flash drive or 8 gigabytes I will try to remove to remove it later right now let's let's power down let's connect all the flash drives at once so the ones that I, that I remove in order to configure these two ones and to be able to know exactly which ones I was formatting because sometimes the flash drives have different names that I don't know exactly which one I'm formatting so I was afraid I was formatting one with data already so in order to not delete anything I just removed the other ones okay and now everything should be working so all the flash drives online all the pools all the chairs all the shares activated on the on the server with the users authorized to read and write and so if you have the the free version you always get that message to activate to pay for for updates so if you really like this software you should pay or upgrade to be able to to have everything okay so as you can see the the flash drive I I had with 8 gigabytes it's not here anymore but it's showing okay but it's unmounted also there was a flash drive with a with a red warning because it, it's almost it's almost um, complete okay so let's have a look now with everything connected how it works so first on Windows 11 so I already mapped one of the flash drives this one is a data 64 so was the one of the first ones I I tried so you see on the address bar uh, the IP address of the NASH and now I'm mapping a second one so I just select map new network drive gen then select the drive letter then enter the, the, the IP address browse and I will see all the flash drives I created all the shares I created and I will select OK and finish and a new disk will appear on my machine so now I have this one with letter H and these are the files inside and this is a 4k file so this is a, a video a 4k file and as you can see it lies really fast so I'm moving the cursor it doesn't prefer anything it works amazing so and so remember it depends on your home network speed and depends also on the flash if you are using flash drives like me if you are using flash drives 3.0 or and also the hub that I connected to the mini computer uh, you notice is also 3.0 otherwise if I use old flash drives like 2.0 uh, it will be slower okay so bear that in mind so this is the timing that it 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 would take to copy that file that uh, 
operating system to the folder so just for you to have an idea now let's play another media from the from the disk so as you can see it works so you can copy files from and to now I'm on Macintosh on my Hackintosh and as you can see using forklift I can access all the, the, the shares on my on my mini NAS so on the left side the one of the two ones that I just installed and on the right the HP one so I can create folders in both so I will move a, a video file so this was my setup some years ago when I started Akintoshing so that is no leopard so let's move the, f the video inside the flash drive on my mini server and as you can see it's really really fast now some music so let me search some music to put on the HP on the HP flash drive so let's try one just to see the speed boom ready and now a bunch of of files let's see how quick it is boom 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 so really really nice okay don't forget if you are finding some value on this video if you still watching because probably you want to do something similar so this software it seems really nice it allows you to if you have an old computer with some spare drives to create a mini server where you can put your videos your music your photos or your personal files and and share across your home network it works really well don't forget if you are learning something or finding the video interesting to to drop a like it costs you nothing and helps me a lot okay and keeps me motivated to to keep making videos so for this for me this was just a, a test because I I have a real NAS a real network attached server with the real hard disk drives and I have a, another computer that I made an NAS with the hard disk drives also and so on those NAS I, I make all my backups this this was a a project just to learn about this software just to test if I could do it and so I will be moving files that uh, are not important to me so if somehow one of those flash drives keep stops working I will not be crying for the data because I always I, I have backups so this is just for convenience to share files between computers between my smartphone between Windows and Mac between my smart TV so for me it's really really nice okay so now you see I'm playing files on my smartphone reading from the mini NASH and this file is 4k and it's playing really well so no buffering everything it's 4k 30 frames per second and it works amazing okay so yeah let's continue 
so opening another file another file from my smartphone and this one is a Matroska file also 4k and it plays with no issues playing really really well so really happy with this mini server where I can keep some family videos and so when I receive visits from family I just can read directly from the TV and show the videos to the family or to friends or something like that so you see the the video I copy later on to the flash drive playing it here in my smartphone really well good and more so I told you I can do backups from my my smartphone directly to the mini NAS so with this application photo sync which is paid you can select your attached network drive and backup all your files depending on the size of your videos and and photos it will take time and also depending on your home network speed okay so be patient so it's something to be done during the night when charging your smartphone but it works really well okay so if you lose your smartphone you don't lose all your photos all your videos if you currently do backup okay so now I'm using Google TV on this monitor and this is VLC also reading from network and remember when I told you we have to create users so when you do the first login it will ask you for username and password and then if you save it it will not ask you again and you will be able to read from all the flash drives on my mini server okay once again the 4k video streaming from my mini NAS and it works amazing it works really really well okay from another software and once again all the flash drives I have there so the first time we we go there we have to to put a username <coughs> and the password and once logged in we can read all the files shared across our network it works really well I'm for f moving the video forward and yeah it responds immediately it doesn't do any buffering you see it works amazing and finally so if you have a smart TV you you can read from your mini NAS or from your rock store NAS from so you see all the flash drives and once again we have the first time we use it we have to put your login and password that you created on your setup on your rock store dashboard and then you just sit on your couch and you enjoy all your files directly on your TV so you don't need to bring the flash drive go on the back of your of your TV try to connect the flash drive to the USB port and and then read the files you can access directly from your personal cloud so don't forget if you learn something from this video if this video give you gave you some ideas to create your own cloud server to drop a like and if you like this kind of content 
consider to subscribe. I catch you on a new video. Bye bye.